So lumen versus calibers. Did these give me insights or did these give me headaches? I've actually been using lumen for about five years and I've been using caliber, I wanna say about at least six months. Caliber is a device I've always wanted since ever I find out about RER and respiratory exchange ratio and this ability to capture carbon, which is the amount of calories. So the first thing we should drop is a little bit of science knowledge. So when we eat food, it goes into our digestive system. Our digestive system breaks that food down into its components, protein, fats, and carbs, and more specifically, amino acids, fatty acids, and glucose. There are other saccharides and monosaccharides like sucrose, um, glucose, maltose, fructose, etc. But glucose is the main fuel for muscle cells. The other ones kind of go to your liver. Long story short. Anyway, so. The protein, fats, and carbs, or the amino acids, fatty acids, go into your cell, more specifically into the mitochondria, and it produces a thing called ATP, which is the energy currency of the body, blah de blah de blah Then the, it extracts energy from, say, a glucose, which is a six-carbon chain, it extracts the energy from that, and then you just have dirty carbon left. That carbon, then oxygen comes in and grabs that carbon, and it we exhale it. So we breathe in oxygen, we exhale carbon dioxide. That carbon dioxide does weigh something. So the oxygen we breathe in captures the carbon and it comes out. And if you capture, if you blow this into a balloon and freeze dry it, you'll see a little fine powder. We've actually lost a minuscule amount of weight with every single breath. So when we exercise, we breathe heavier, which means more carbon comes out that carbon has weight. So when we exercise, we burn more calories, which means there's more of this waste product, carbon. Carbon then goes, floats about the atmosphere and becomes trees. It becomes the solid tree and becomes the plants. And then we eat the apple and the cycle begins. So a lot of people don't know when you lose fat, fat is just a bunch of carbon, we breathe it out. So when we say calories in, calories out, what we really mean is carbon in to carbon out. And think of carbon like just little tiny Lego bricks. You eat them and they exhale out. So scientists figured out eons ago that when we breathe in oxygen, there's a certain amount of carbon that should come out with it. And there's a ratio that's called your ex respiratory exchange ratio. So you breathe in say one liter of oxygen and one liter of carbon dioxide comes out. That'll be a one ratio, that means it's all carbohydrates coming out. If it's a little bit less, it means it's a ratio of fat and carbs. And there's a whole ratio of this fat and carbs to 100% carbs to 100% fat. We're always burning a ratio of both. This is what lumen measures. So every time you take a breath from a lumen, breathe out, it will give you a number and it will also give you a percentage. So say 75% carbs, 25% fat, or say 90% fat and 10% carbs, which is cool. So lumen and caliber, operate on a similar thing. Caliber does what a metabolic mass does. You breathe in and out, it will give you a calorie amount, it will give you a percentage of fat and carbs that you're burning. So in essence, Lumen is like a camera. It gives you a snapshot and Caliber is like a camcorder. Now, I can't state this enough. This device is literally a miracle. So this should be a 5,000 pound minimum is its cheapest competitor, is, is Calibre's cheapest competitor. If not, you're looking at 10 grand for a university grade. And this one has been tested third party against other masks and it's actually come out on top and you're less than $500. I think I saw it for like $300, $400 on the website recently. I've also got a discount code for this, also have a discount code for Lumen, but that's beside the point. This is freaking crazy, but which one is better? So it depends what you need. Do you need a camcorder or do you need a camera? Lumen's really quick. So Caliber takes a little bit longer to set up, not as long as some other devices, but you need a couple of minutes for it to settle in. So you turn it on, you connect it to the app. It takes a couple of minutes to settle in and it depends on the test you're looking to do. And Lumen is more geared towards nutritional advice based on your breath, where Caliber is more based upon fitness. Things like your resting metabolic rate, which is really cool if you're dieting, you can see that fluctuate up and down and you can see the fluctuations day to day, which is really quite mind blowing that your metabolism isn't just this fixed number that a calculator will give you. 
It's dynamic depending on how well you slept, depending on how well you ate, depending on how much you've dieted. But you can also test things like VO2 max and you can see improvement over the time. You can also use it with other people, although they don't specifically state that, you just need to download the app on their phone and pop in their information and then you can use one caliber, just remember to clean it, etc., properly. But it's absolutely insane and you can run loads of cool little experiments but like i say it just takes a little bit more time and it will give you a little bit more data and you might need to interpret that data with a little bit of a science head on it's, the app isn't so good at telling you this happened or that happened or why this is like this why is that like that you really need to go on it with some context lumen is quite similar in there's many variables that can affect your metabolism you might be fasting and you measure in the morning, so say you've done a 12 hour overnight fast, you measure in the morning and you're in fat burn, say you're one or two in lumen, which is fat burn on lumen, you might be fasting and you're like, I'm gonna fast more, and then you fast more through the day and that number actually goes up. That's an indicator that your body is stressed, but you might have caught your measurement off guard because lumen's really based on you being still, where caliber will catch your breath rate. And as your breath rate increases, it will just rework the algorithm, so it's always, sort of semi-accurate, where Lumen's really based on you being sit down and rested. So although I said Caliber takes a couple of minutes to set up, you should really sit down for a couple of minutes before you take your Lumen measurement, depending on how quickly your heart rate recovers. So if you have a fast heart rate recovery, you can probably take your measurement earlier, but if you know your heart rate's quite slow at recovering or you have a lack of fitness, you should probably sit down for two, three minutes before you take your measurement. And there really isn't a um, good or bad, it's really about context for both of these devices. And it's really about what you're wanting out of it. Finding your resting metabolic rate and the amount of calories you burn is important. You could do something like I'm gonna do in the next couple of days is do a walking test. I'm gonna walk for 10 minutes with a caliber, see how much calories I burn in 10 minutes and also compare that to 10 minutes of sitting. So how much more calories do I burn walking compared to sitting? I've done sort of tests before and it's actually quite mind boggling. The more you move, the more you burn, crazy. Also walking is particularly high fat burn. In fact, when I start cycling, that fat burn changes to carbohydrate burn quite quickly. And even at a low intensity, even though my measured kind of zone two would be 130 watts, which may sound like gobbledygook to you, but just it's the higher the number. On caliber, it's showing around about 90 watts, but when I'm walking, I'm walking probably at more wattage than that, or more output than that, or a higher calorie burn than that, but it's still keeping a relatively high fat burn. So that's really interesting with caliber. And also really interesting if you're into steps and walking, that's really cool. Lumen will show you, I've got loads of videos on Lumen, but things like cooling down after a workout will get you back into fat burn, really important. Lumen is really good at being a stress barometer. If you're in carb burn, that's the fuel for fight or flight. Lumen's really good at showing you that. Did you diet too hard? Did you exercise too hard? Are you under recovered? Did you have a poor night's sleep? Lumen will highlight that in a quick snapshot. Just like if you took a photo of someone with a frown on their face, you could be like, in that moment, that person was upset and was frowning. Where Caliber will show you a more detailed, hey, we're gonna get you in to do a VO2 max test. You're like, oh, I had a bad night's sleep, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't necessarily mean your VO2 max will be low. You can sometimes kick ass in a stressed state. So Caliber's awesome for high level fitness stuff. Lumen can be really eye-opening on your stress and your metabolism. If you use both of these right, they are both absolutely incredible tools that exist now, which is just wild. Anyway, I don't wanna make this video much longer. I wanted to make this video way more exciting than it is, but I'm short on time. So guys, I will check you in the next one. And if you have any questions, drop them below. I'd be delighted to answer them and I'll see you soon.